Okay, guys, this is huge. Google Bart is available right now and I have to check it out like right away. So let's get going. <laughs> so first, uh, it's actually for some users. Just just let's go to the website and see what's going on. So bart.google.com, you go on the website and it depends whether you're signed in already with your account. If you are, that means that let's see what that means because it could mean that you need to try BART if you haven't been signed in then if I open here and I press it here in the incognito window then it says sign in and it actually because it's a Google thing it asks you to sign in with your Google account so if you have a Gmail, if you have a YouTube, probably you have a Google account. So you sign in. On the other hand, if you are from a country that BART is still not available, this is the sign that is going to say BART isn't currently supported in your country. Stay tuned, which means that you're not going to have a sign in. You're not going to have a uh, try BART button right here. If you have a Google Workspace subscription and because I have one, I'm going in to see how to activate it. So in my case, it said BART isn't supported for this account because I'm using my work account. And it says that the admin actually has to enable access to BART and you must be over 18 to access BART, which is great. I totally support that because AI shouldn't be available for everybody until we figure this thing out. So because of that, I'm going to go to my admin and go to my apps go to additional Google services. And then from here, I want to uh, sort the apps based on their service status to see which ones are actually off right now. So, okay. So early access apps is not available right now. It's off. So I'm going to turn it on, on for everyone. Okay. And it says that most changes take effect within a few minutes. So let's check it out again. Additional apps. Okay, so we don't see it off right now. And let's see whether we're going to be able to find BART. So once you're in BART.google.com, you have this try BART link where you can click it and then you agree to the terms of service i really hope i'm agreeing to some good stuff <laughs> and then we go to the view of the part so here we can use the light theme i honestly prefer the dark one so i'm gonna switch to the dark mode and then we can try do some prompts so one of the prompts that I want to ask is um, give me a list of top 10 YouTube, uh, YouTube channels for AI tools in a table. So the Interesting thing about BART versus ChatGPT is that it actually gives you right away the answer. It doesn't write it and you read while it's still writing. So in this case, it did give me in a spreadsheet, kind of in a table, and it explains a little bit more about the channels and the results. But one of the interesting features is that you can see other drafts right here, and it actually generates three drafts for the prompt that you asked and in this case you can see the first three for example uh, channel names send decks three blue one brown data school and then if we go to draft two it's the same ones but the description is here so the description is not below and in the first case it was just the rank the channel and the subscriber 
uh, the subscribers numbers and then the description was below and on the third one you can actually see that it does have the description below but it's with bullets one of the things that i find fascinating is that i just asked for the top 10 youtube channels i did not ask for the subscribers number i didn't ask for the description and it anticipated that option where i'm gonna have the table with the different context context and information i lost my mouse battery so this this is super interesting for me the other interesting thing is that you can actually here you can say if it's good or bad response and you can edit the text which is great because i can say uh, that are female for example so let's see what's gonna happen I'm just gonna move myself here okay so here we go we have just the female options uh, the list of the female youtubers I'm not gonna check whether they are in for real uh, female but I really like it one thing that I don't see right now is that normally there's an option that you can um, export that well, let's reset the chat I'm actually gonna I just wanna remember that question then I'm gonna reset the chart on the other hand we have part activity which we can check out the options here you can auto delete and in this case it's on also you can manage my activity ver verification and these are the different props that i've done so far so this day activity you have faq section that you have you know frequently asked questions so you can check that out you have updates and i would suggest that this is important in terms of what has changed in each version and it has the help page but one thing i find very useful is that you can use the microphone and you can talk to it instead of typing so we're getting even lazier in this case so let's use the microphone let's allow it can you give me a list of the 10 top 10 youtubers yep give me a list of the top 10 youtubers why is that what is going on give me a list of the what? okay i guess brave is shielding something so i'm just gonna stop it so for those of you who use brave can you can you give me how do you use this one? What is going on? What is going on? Should I switch? I actually am using that kind of microphone. Should I just stop it? Okay, so we move to Chrome. Let's allow the microphone. Okay, let's see. Can you give me a list of the top 10 YouTubers for travel? And it actually understood what I'm saying, which is super exciting, you guys, because sometimes because of my accent, I do have a trouble with Siri, for example. But in this case, the Vaga Brothers. Yes, I know these guys. Mark Wayne. Okay, nice. So we actually have the links towards the youtube channel which is amazing oh it's towards the website anyhow still great okay so here you go you guys here's the thing you can actually export responses to docs so let's do that creating document new document creating created open docs and here you go but do we have links here 
No, that's interesting. Okay, so um, I love it. I love that you can export it in a file. And now I want to make it a draft in Gmail. Let's see how that works. Drafting, open Gmail. We are, and remember you are already signed in with your Google account because it's all Google. So it actually opens your Gmail account. And here it generates, there you go. You have all the information here. There are no links again. So anyhow, still create. Let's Google it. Let's see. When you Google it, it actually gives you, is it the same list? No. It's, oh, in this case, it's bullets. So in this case, it's bullets. So it actually gives you the Google search instead of you typing here and there as well. That's great. So one of the crazy things that I read about ChatGPT and BART, in this case, I'm going to try it out with BART. I have very weird stuff in my refrigerator. So if I want to check if it's going to give me a recipe about what to do with those things, let's see. Okay. So I can write, I have, um, give me a recipe. How do you write recipe for um, the ingredients, cherry tomatoes. So I have cherry tomatoes, I have red peppers, mm, I have flour and I have sugar, <laughs> I have salt and I have carrots and I have cheese. Mm, let's say it's feta cheese. So let's see if it's gonna give me a recipe that doesn't sound horrible, as horrible as the combination of sugar and um, carrots with tomatoes sounds like. So sure, there is a recipe for a roasted vegetable salad with feta cheese. Okay, so we have the cherry tomatoes and you have, you have the bell pepper slice, you have carrot, okay and you have balsamic vinegar okay i didn't write that but i guess every household should have that and black pepper as well and then i have to preheat the oven Just to get the and spread the vegetable oil roast in three heat it oven for 20 25 minutes and sprinkle with feta cheese and serve warm or at room temperature okay this recipe is a great way to use up leftover vegetables i totally agree okay guys so this is just a quick review of BART. I'm very excited to test everything, what else we can do with BART as well. But let me know what else we should try out and what are you most excited about. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you check my other videos of, um, of a totally different topic. I'm releasing a video each week of my one month long road trip in Europe. It was super exciting and it is a vlog content, but still we have to relax a little bit. And I do give you a lot of tips and tricks. And also I have a Google map about all the places that I visited with recommendations and amazing places that we visited or recommendations and some of the top rated places that we found, but some of them we couldn't visit, but check that out and see you next week. Bye.